The Otama Reserves Group Landscape Level Ecological Restoration Project. Tanakoto. Thank you, Len Reynolds Trustees, for this opportunity to apply for a total of $60,000 over three years to help meet the costs of one, an integrated restoration management plan, two, funds to cover the cost of stopping excessive amounts of silt entering this wetland system, three, archaeological restoration and coastal walkway development. Your Tama Reserves Group are a passionate group of local landowners, landowners, community volunteers and environmentalists seeking further funding to protect, preserve and enhance our very unique landscape. Named after Tama, the Kapua, the commander of the Te Arawa Canoe, Otama is in the Rohi of Ngāti Hei. Otama is not only rich in history but also ecological treasures. Coastal scientist Jim Dahm describes the Otama dune systems as by far the most ecologically valuable in the Coromandel and Doc classifies it as number two in New Zealand. Beyond the, the dunes lies the dynamic lagoon, the Otama wetlands and an established native forest which is the preserve of Project Kiwi. 1. As the project requires a holistic approach, we clearly need an integrated restoration management plan to guide us. We are supported by Ngāti Hei, Department of Conservation, the Waikato Regional Council, the University of Waikato, Coromandel Beach Care, Project Kiwi, Kua Otunu Environmental Action and the Otama Residents and Ratepayers. 2. The Otama Reserves Group's second request is to mitigate the disaster effects of excess siltation. Otama has a very famous resident artist, Michael Smither, who lives together with his partner, Gian McGregor, um, in Otama. They have coined the phrase, the singing sands of Otama. It is a remarkably rare phenomenon globally and is due to the consistency of quartz silica, which makes the sand sing when you walk on it. 25 years ago, 2,000 hectares of regrowth native forest was cleared and planted in Pinus radiata. The forestry covers a portion of the Otama watershed with tributaries feeding into the wetland and the lagoon. Over the last few years, the entire forestry block was felled. There was inadequate mitigation against the erosion. Furthermore, the increasingly prevalent rain events are causing a massive siltation problem choking the wetland, suffocating the native shellfish beds in the lagoon, and contaminating the beach, turning the apricot sand brown and muffling the singing sands. To address the siltation immediately, we have begun discussions with Owens Law One, the forestry company, they are recognised as leaders in their industry in meeting the national environmental standards. With their support, we will get access to replanting the weirs on the forestry land. We will need to meet the costs of every aspect of mitigation, which is expected to include the planning, earthworks, silt catchment ponds, plants and planting. Three. Finally, in conjunction with all these efforts, is um, to work with Ngāti Hei. Together we wish to uncover the Māori village site buried by a farmer in the 1950s. This site and the five pa sites in the surrounding area, evidence of coastal trading platforms and numerous other archaeological sites are a record of Aotearoa's earliest inhabitants, lifestyle and culture. Due to its national significance, we wish to bring this cultural landscape to life by extending the Coromandel Coastal Walkway and presenting the history using modern interpretive techniques. We want to support the development of slow tourism and encourage a look, no take behavior. Of course, this is a big project. It is a transformative project. It will likely take at least 10 years. It will be costly and it will require the labor and goodwill of many. $60,000 from Len Reynolds would see us accelerate our work and ensure we have the foundations to make a radical difference to the future of this uniquely spectacular environment. Thank you for considering our application.